I have to warn you because I might get emotional while talking about this, but today I want to show you how I healed my body with Neville Goddard's agreement. And when it comes to my own personal healing story, I always get emotional while talking about it. I think I've published a couple of episodes already about it on the Affirmation to Manifestation podcast and also one or two episodes here on the Neville Goddard Decoded podcast. However, today I want to share a very specific quote from Neville Goddard with you. And I want to then explain to you exactly how I used the knowledge that is contained in this quote to heal my body. And of course, I have to make one thing clear. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical professional. So that's a big, big disclaimer here. I will not tell you that I have the secret or the answer for you, how you can 100% guarantee that your body will be healed. That would be very unethical for me to claim that. All I'm doing here is to share my own experience with you. I share with you what worked for me and I want to inspire you that if you are on a healing journey at the moment or even if you are on another journey, it doesn't matter if it's a physical healing journey, emotional healing, spiritual healing or something completely else in regards to the law of assumption and the law of attraction, I want you to listen to this and to, yeah, to simply allow yourself to realize that you are more powerful than you think you are and that you are more powerful than you can possibly imagine. I know it because I've had so much doubt, so many sleepless nights, so much fear, so much worry. And there were so many days when I had no idea if I would ever heal, if I would ever, yeah, if I would ever be able to run again, if I would ever be able to play basketball again. And I loved playing basketball so much. And nowadays, I love to play it because I can do it again. And I also love to go to the gym. I mean, just today, for example, my muscles are a little bit sore because yesterday I had a really intense workout session at the gym. And yeah, again, I'm getting emotional because it reminds me that a couple of years ago, in fact, not so long ago, I was not able to do it. And I was not sure if I would ever be able to do it again. I mean, if you've listened to one of my other episodes about my physical healing... I had a surgery during which a cyst in my bladder was removed. Thankfully, it was not cancerous. But during that surgery, or let's say better after that surgery, of course, I don't know exactly when it happened, but after the surgery, I developed severe nerve damage. I I had so many sensitivity issues in my bladder area and my pelvis floor area that even when I was dressing myself, I was, um, yeah, with the boxer shorts, it was such a pain when I was feeling the boxer short on my body, I was screaming in pain. I was walking around in sweatpants for, yeah, almost over a year after that surgery because I couldn't wear a jeans. I couldn't wear a belt. I was in so much pain. I still remember when I was going to the doctor's visits after the surgery and I was in the car and I was actually holding the seat belt because feeling the sensation of the seat belt on my body led to so much pain that I was crying in the Uber that I was taking to the hospital. It was a very painful and crazy time. I mean, nowadays I'm very thankful for it uh, because this led to my yeah, to my spiritual awakening and led to my trauma healing. And now I live the life of my dreams. I'm in a wonderfully fulfilling relationship. I can live my life in joy again. And yeah, I don't want to talk about myself too much right now with the life that I'm living right now. I just wanted to give you a perspective that things can change. What I want to do right now is to share a very powerful quote with you directly from Neville Goddard that is important for everyone who wants to heal his or her body. Here's what Neville Goddard says. Now, if it is a state of health that you desire of attaining, before you have any evidence of health in your world, you begin to feel yourself to be healthy. The very second the feeling I am healthy is attained, the two have agreed. That is, I am and health have agreed to be one. And this agreement results in the birth of a child, which is the thing agreed upon, in this case, health. And I want to now repeat this quote again, because I truly believe that it's so powerful. And then I want to show you exactly what I did to, yeah, to heal my body and how I worked with this quote. Now, if it is a state of health that you desire of attaining, before you have any evidence of health in your world, you begin to feel yourself to be healthy. And I want to just briefly mention that. Always remember, feeling is the secret. Feeling truly is the secret. Everything else that you do just helps you 
to get to the feeling. And now I want to continue again with this quote from Neville Goddard. The very second the feeling I am healthy is attained, the two have agreed. That is, I am and health have agreed to be one. And this agreement results in the birth of a child, which is the thing agreed upon, in this case, health. Now let's have a look at how you can get to that feeling. Because I remember when I was in so much pain, I mean, I still remember that the first couple of coaching sessions I actually had Also on the Affirmation to Manifestation podcast, I did it while lying on the couch. And in case you're one of my long-term listeners and you had one of those coaching sessions with me while I was lying on the couch and I was saying, yeah, you know, just wanted to relax. Oh, you know, it's, I think it's a more relaxed way of doing it. And a lot of times I didn't even allow myself to be honest, to say like, hey, I'm in so much pain, I can't do it, because then I would have felt like some kind of imposter, even though back then I was in the journey, I was deep in, yeah, you can say I was deep in um, changing my life already. And I had all these ideas that I wanted to share with you. I had all these concepts that I wanted to share with you, and I wanted to help so many people. But I was so afraid to open up and to say, hey, you know, I am in this vulnerable position. I was afraid that you as a coach, he would be, hey, who's that guy telling me about the law of attraction? He's suffering here. But I was in, you can say I was in the trenches. I was really practicing. I was practicing it over and over again every day. And if you are one of my first coaching clients who've ever booked a session with me, then you might remember the time when I was lying on the couch and I couldn't really move. But back then, that's when the ideas for the Affirmation to Manifestation podcast, which was my first podcast, that has turned into one of the biggest Law of Attraction podcasts on iTunes with now more than 1 million downloads. And I'm so incredibly thankful for all the positive feedback that I received to it and from all the amazing feedback from my clients. But if you were one of my first clients, then you might remember how I was laying on the couch while we were having these sessions. And now that I think back to it, it's, yeah, it makes me emotional again because back then, I was in the process of mastering the law of attraction, of mastering the law of assumption. And then I was woken up at night so many times with these ideas back then for the Affirmation to Manifestation podcast, now also for the Neville Goddard Decoded podcast, because, well, there's always divine timing and everything happens for a reason. And there was a reason why I had to go through all these things. There was a reason why I had to, yeah, I had to learn it the hard way. I mean, some people don't need to experience trauma in order to tap into their true potential and to find out that we are in fact creators of our reality and of our life. But I had to go through it the hard way. And I truly believe that nowadays as a coach, it allows me to have such a deep level of understanding and also empathy for all the different situations that my clients are in. And one of the first things that I did on my journey was to visualize the picture of me being healed and to make it as specific and as detailed as possible. For example, one of the biggest accomplishments that I always dreamed of during that time was to be able to play basketball again. I wanted to be able to jump again. I wanted to be able to do that again because I'm a huge basketball freak. I absolutely love basketball. And I still remember one of my most amazing memories as a teenager was when I visited a family member in Miami and I went to a playoff game from the Miami Heat. So yes, I really am into basketball. And back then I couldn't do it. In fact, I couldn't even walk properly, let alone jump. I mean, the idea of being able to jump again was just completely, yeah, it was unrealistic back then because the doctors told me you have to live with it. There's no cure. Sorry if it's not healed by now, you have to live with it. And believe me, I had so many dark nights of the soul, so many days when I wanted to give up, when I couldn't take it anymore. But I still continue to believe in it. I continue to say, yes, there is a possibility. There is a way out of it. And that's when the teachings of Neville Goddard came to me. That's when the teachings of Dr. Joe Dispenza came to me. And that's when I realized that, yes, I can heal. There is a possibility. I mean, I can't even remember how many times I watched the same testimonials from Joe Dispenza over and over again. How often I listened to the stories of Neville Goddard over and over again, over and over again, and over and over again. Yes, I did it many times. And I then created this picture for myself where I saw myself in the first person perspective, being able to jump, feeling my feet lifting from the ground, and then 
I felt the basketball. I really felt the texture of the basketball rolling away from my fingers just when you do a layup in basketball. And I felt that. And I really, I go, oh, even right now, I want to go like, yeah, woo, because I repeated that so many times. And it's just absolutely beautiful that I can now lift that again. And this picture helped me to get into the emotion. And then at some point, as Neville Goddard says it, and I want to quote him again here. The very second the feeling I am healthy is attained, the two have agreed. That is, I am and health have agreed to be one. And this agreement results in the birth of a child, which is the thing agreed upon, in this case, health. So whenever I felt like, yes, the basketball is rolling from my fingers. Yes, I feel my feet lifting from the ground i'm jumping and keep in mind i did that with my eyes closed while i was not jumping but i got so deep into the experience and i felt it over and over again and the more often that i felt it the more i became it and that's when the i am as neville goddard says it agrees to be that new self to be health to be healed and this feeling of i am healthy i am healthy i am healed i am healed I repeated it over and over again in my mind and I created this picture and I felt it, I truly felt it because remember, as Neville Goddard says, feeling is the secret. No matter if you have to use pictures as I did it, if you have to make a vision board, if you have to use affirmations, do what works for you to get to that feeling. And that's also something when it comes to creating the emotion of what you want to manifest. That's something that we can also work together in a coaching session. And I can also help you to reach certain frequencies during a hypnosis session. And if you want to find out more about coaching with me, you can go to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash coaching. And always remember that there's so much evidence out there now. I mean, you just have to watch all the Dr. Joe Dispenza testimonials to see that physical healing is possible, even if the doctors tell you it's not possible. For me, my doctors also told me it's not possible. If it's not healed by now, it won't heal anymore. Now it's healed, so it is possible. Always remember that. Always keep that in mind. And that's what I wanted to share with you today. And if you enjoyed watching this video, Please send out some love to the YouTube universe by giving this video a big, big thumbs up. And I would also appreciate it if you would leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about my video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you.